In this video, we're going to see how you can add a custom domain name to your card website. If you don't know, card is a website page builder that can help you build the one page website easily. You need to be in the pro standard plan that costs $19 a year to host 10 websites to be able to utilize the custom domain URLs. In here, we're going to see how you can add the domain. Card is not offering a way to buy the domain directly from, from them, so you will need to buy the domain from a third party provider. Such provider that can help you buy a domain name is Namecheap. This uh, domain provider can help you buy domain names uh, easily. You can choose from multiple top level domains. You just type the name in here, my website and so on and you will be hit search and you can choose your domain name that it's free and available so you can uh, use it with your card website. Another provider that you can use it's GoDaddy. Again, you have multiple domain options that you can buy with GoDaddy. Another one that you can use it's Cloudflare. Basically, this is a CDN and uh, it's also offering uh, domain options that can be used, used to buy domains. And this is has the most affordable price. And uh, yeah, after you decide to buy the domain and uh, you have your site uh, created, I have here a team that we are going to use and add the custom domain uh, to it. This is a free team that you can also get if you want. And uh, for this, we're going to edit our custom domain. To do that, after you're finished editing your one page website, you just need to go and save this. And in here, you will have the multiple options. You see that you can publish this to a card.co uh, URL. This is free, but in this, we're going to choose the publish to a custom domain. And in here, we're going to insert our domain that we have bought to with Cloudflare or Namecheap or GoDaddy. And I have a domain name already for this. Now they will check to see if this is a valid one and afterwards they will provide some details in here, some A records and a C name that you need to copy and add to your DNS provider. If you are uh, doing this with uh, Namecheap in here, if we go to the domain, I have the domain in here, you have the advanced DNS and in here you have the options to add your records. You see in here, I don't have any records added in the DNS right now and I will hit the add a new record in here and I will add an A record and I will put the A round in here. I will put the IP address in here. I will hit save to add again an A record. Again, it will be an A record and again, we're going to need to go and copy the second IP address of this in here. Okay, I will hit save. The other option is to add a C name. You just need to go down and choose the C name record. And in here you have the www and you have the target, which will be the domain name. It save like this. And uh, right now the domain name, it's configured to point to the card uh, server. And the next thing to do is to go and publish these changes. And uh, this will take about one hour for all the changes to be to be created in the card uh, server and uh, the SSL to be installed and I will hit publish. Right now the changes will be published and uh, you see in here again that uh, you will need to wait for about one hour for the changes to be to be available. Okay. After one hour you should go and type your URL and then we should it will send you to the website. So you see in here that you have the thermo facts URL with the SSL certificate. And right now you have a fully functional website that it's uh, pointing to the card one page website that it's created. In this way, you are adding it to Namecheap. If you are uh, using Cloudflare for DNS provider, it will be uh, the similar thing. So if the domain is uh, hosted on the Cloudflare DNS in here, you will have the DNS options records. And in the records area in here, you will have the options to add the A record. So in here, you will just add a record with IP address and you will click save. And at the end, for instance, you can add your C name in here. You should not proxy this through Cloudflare, at least in the beginning when the SSL certificate is uh, generated and then you just hit, click save and you add the A record and the C name. But at the end, uh, same it will happen like we see in the name chip, you will have a functional uh, website on your own domain. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you want to see other card tutorials, I will let a playlist in here that you can follow and learn some card tricks that will help you build your one-page websites easily. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.